Hey guys, welcome to creativevfx.net to another short tutorial and this time we're gonna look at uh, how to use the 3D camera tracker built inside After Effects in cooperation with uh, Signware, um, which is a plugin so the uh, Cinema 4D can work together with After Effects. So this is gonna be a brief one, let's just jump into it, just wanna show the basics. So I have a footage here um, which I imported and I'm gonna drag it down to create a new composition like so and basically if you view it it's just uh, you know uh, in front of a building uh, with a little staircase and I basically I want to track this footage and uh, put some free text in here so the way to do that go all the way to the beginning I have the full resolution on you can either right click here or uh, let's see the easy way right click and go down to track camera or I have my track panel up here you can click track camera here or you can go to animation and track camera all of those three will do the same thing so we click that and immediately it's gonna go into analyzing and background step one of two so basically here it's uh, going frame by frame and uh, going and look to see where it's gonna put some track points and then it's gonna go for next frame and look where to uh, Con uh, coordinate this point according to the next reference point so basically this is how it tracks and uh, short time we, we want to go down to the advanced and put detail analyze on uh, immediately like so and this is gonna uh, take some more uh, computer power uh, but it's gonna give you a much more detailed uh, uh, track so basically show track points let's go for the options here the shot type Right now, this is the default fixed angle of view, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, this is just if you have, right now, this shot was uh, shot from a mobile phone. So I don't have zoom on, and if you have any specific angle view you were, uh, you were shooting this, then you can go in and open this menu, and will, you will have some additional uh, parameters to adjust. The same thing with show track points, we wanted to show them in 3D. You can also use uh, 2D uh, source here. Render track points. You can do that so it's gonna render while actually do this analyze but I, we will do that afterwards um, we don't need that for this specific shot uh, track point size these will be the track points that's gonna be added to this scene you can uh, adjust them by the track point size here and the target size that's where you uh, read circle um, target uh, icon how big you want that where you can mark and add things on for the solve method uh, leaving it out of uh, detect it uh, works pretty good but otherwise if uh, out of detect for this one would have been a typical if you know it's mostly a flat scene you can choose that here if you want a tripod choose that here because I shot from a, my mobile phone with my hand so I choose auto detect and it will probably go into a typical mode and uh, so right now you can see uh, actually choose the flat scene uh, yeah, besides the staircase here, it's almost flat, so... Okay, but that's what the auto check did. Average error, 1.29 pixels. Uh, detail analyze was on. Auto delete points, points across time to save some uh, computer power afterwards. Hide warn wa warning banner. We don't want that to hide. If I have a warning, I want to see it. Okay, so you saw the track points right before, right? So click on your footage. Select your camera tracker. Here you have all your points so let's make them uh, increase the size like so let's go through the footage see how they how well they stick to the ground and how more pops up afterwards okay so what we want we want to found we want to find a ground plane um, let's see if we do like this you can hold down the mouse and just circle around of some points it's gonna give you a little red targets you know what let's increase the target size as well yeah let's try to put it there um, what you do when you have found your area of choice let's try try some other markings okay these three points so we'll, we'll, we'll we want this to be a ground plane this will be the origin of point where cinema can also uh, Put its uh, 
access points in, in relation to the 3D world. So right click, choose set ground, plane and origin. And also right click, create a solid and a camera. This can instantly create a solid for us, um, which is called uh, in the timeline track solid and a 3D camera. So let's go through and see how well it sticks to the ground there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Remember, this is from a mobile phone, so it's not going to be perfect, but I just want to show the basics. Okay, so we have a solid in here. We want to export this into a Cinema 4D. So the way to do that, you go up to File, Export, Maxon Cinema 4D Exporter. Uh, it says 2D layers not found. These will not be exported. It's okay with me. I don't have 2D layers. Uh, it tells me to save the project first, so let's make a quick save. Uh, we call this 3D camera tracker to it. Save, yes, all right, like so. It's saved. Let's go back to export Max on Cinema for the exporter. Okay, and let's go to desktop. And all right, this one as well. They want to replace it, yes, okay. So we created a uh, Cinema 4D file. Now we're gonna import it into this scene here. So Control I or File and Import. So I'm just gonna or, or double click in here in the project panel, like so. And here's our Cinema 4D file imported. Okay. Now let's drag it down into our timeline, just above anything. And here it is. So let's go up to our. So right away, oh, this is actually see as you see. This is a Cinema 4D file, and this is the Signware plugin, which uh, which is the link between After Effect and uh, Cinema 4D. So what we want in here, um, right now showing the the software mode. Let's display it in standard final. Uh, of course, if you have a slow computer, you should uh, definitely go with the standard draft. Okay, so let's go through this. Now we have the scene we want to open it in Cinema 4D. This is just the signware. The way to do that, ensure to select your 3D camera, Cinema 4D file, and then you can go to Edit, and then Edit Original. That's gonna launch your Cinema 4D application, and mine is Cinema 4D R18. Okay, it launched that. Let's play the scene in here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's go back here. So if we open up, here's our 3D camera track. If we open that, that we should have some some of the same data as we have in After Effects. We have our 3D camera track and we have our solid. So that's pretty good. Now we want to have a background to reference that. So what we can do is we go up to, uh, let's see, uh, this icon and choose background. Now we have a background. We want to create a material for that. So let's go back to After Effects, go back to the first frame and from the first frame, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna disable the eyeball for the Cinema 4D file and for the track. So we just have the image. Then go to composition, save frame as file. And it's gonna be a short Photoshop file and where you wanna output it to. Uh, this really came to the PSD. Save, replace, yes, render. Okay, it did that. So let's go back to Cinema 4D. In here, the way you create a material here to add to the background is you can go to create, new material, double click this material here. Then we don't want a reflectance on, remove that. Go to the color and then go to the texture here. Click this arrow button and then go to load image. So from load image, we'll go in and we'll find our, our file, which is here for the camera to PSD. Open that. And now we have our background here. Close this and then just drag it up to the background like so. And here we have it. Th remember, this is just the first frame. This is just the first frame from After Effects. Okay, so now while we have that, we can enable this again. So what we have to do every time we make any change here, we have to save it and then you can just switch tab into After Effects and it should be instantly updated. So let's uh, make some tests here. Let's uh, add a, a text and see where this will pop up 
uh, if we remove the track here here it is you remember that we set our ground plane here so here it is basically we don't uh, need our green track we can, we can delete that later so um, let's go in here and increase the size I hit T or use this icon and increase it move it a little bit here okay and also I wanna change the font just for the sake of the tutorial uh, go in and uh, extrude it put the text below the extrude nerb like so go into the extrude and increase the depth like so okay now um, we want to rotate it Just rotate it until, until you're liking. Okay, like so. Let's go back. Let's uh, save it and go back to After Effect. And look, at, look at that. Instantly updated. Instantly updated. Okay, so um, I'm lazy for this single troll. We'll go in and just go in and find a preset. Um, I will check. Uh, I am a white one to add on the text so let's see what we have here we'll go this could be one that could definitely be one okay so go back to object let's add this to the text like that let's if you hit this render view it's gonna render the view here you can see how it looks like okay now let's also add some light to the scene that adds a light here and go uh, let's see with the light selected move a little bit up like so there's you know place it so get some contrast and uh, go into this render setting go into effects add ambient occlusion render view again see how it looks like we have some little shadows there and we want to actually reflect some shadow also so what we're gonna do with that we're gonna add a plane and we're gonna make this a uh, plane huge like so let's put a little bit down like that let's render view again Oh yeah, we need to go to light and say shadow, shadow map soft. Let's look at it now. Yeah, now we have some uh, some shadow. Uh, I don't like the way they are, so you, but you can always adjust that to your to your own liking. So it's just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you to so export DC, and you can always adjust the settings later. So why I have all this? go to the uh, because if you look at now you hit save go back we will have the plane and the shadows and all that so the way to remove that go back to cinema 4d then in the render settings we'll go up to uh, multi pass make sure that's enabled right click it and then we want to add a uh, ambient occlusion uh, and we want to add right click on multi pass we want to add shadow okay and now an important thing go back to extrude right click to cinema 4d tags then go down to compositing this compositing tag is the one that's going to isolate this layer which is the extrude which is a text uh, it's going to isolate that so we can modify uh, color correct it whatever we want only for this layer so go to object buffer enable it so now we have an object buffer enabled and we need to enable that in our render setting as well so go back to render settings and then right click multi pass and go to object buffer and it's group id1 enabled buffer id1 so that's the one we want so uh, so far so good minimize the window and save it and let's go back to after effect so in after effect now we want to remove the plane and we want to isolate the text and the shadows here so 
there's different way uh, we can uh, go about that but uh, let's go the easy way so our 3d text layer here let's first rename this to text 3d hit enter we control D to duplicate it and for this one we call this text 3d mat like so okay so for the map we'll go um, to the signaware uh, plugin make sure you have selected the free text layer then you go down to the multi pass and make sure that the multi pass is enabled like so and now you set your multi pass here your layer sign here hit that and then go for your object buffer here hit ok and now look at the scene just only isolating this because we have the other layers so now it's only looking at the uh, object buffer which is the text and because we were and we want to isolate that without the plane we'll go down below and then you use the track match and you want to have this layer here to look at the luma which is the white only the white you want to make sure this goes into only the cutout which is the white area let's go to luma like so and that is the plane is gone so now we only need to add also some ambient occlusion or, and our shadows the way to do that is go duplicate again this one control d uh, enable it and for this one let's uh, call this 3d text a o for ambient occlusion in the ambient occlusion set multi pass and this time ambient occlusion okay and for this to work, you're gonna have to choose the blending mode from normal, then go to multiply. There. Now you have that. And uh, now you wanna choose duplicate again. And now we wanna go for the last thing, which is our shadow. Let's see how to bring that in. Shadow, enter, and then here, set multipass. And this has also has to be multiply. But it's already multiplied because we already we duplicated it from the below layer. So go to shadow. Okay, and look at that. Here's your shadows. So that's the basically how an easy workflow between uh, After Effects and uh, SineWare is. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching this short tutorial. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, watch some more tutorials on creativevfx.net. See you guys.